Hi everybody, you're back in Stephanie's kitchen. I am going to do some salmon today. Some salmon with some dill, um, some fresh dill, some fresh parsley, some garlic, butter, and it really a quick dish. Doesn't take that long. It is delicious. I have it for lunch often. And I just want to show you guys how to do that. Thank you everyone for coming and joining me and thank you for sharing and and subscribing and being there and I'm almost at 300 subscribers that's kind of nice thank you everybody I appreciate everything you do and now back to this recipe um, I put in my today I'm using my uh, toaster oven this is a Breville toaster oven I've had a couple of years and then when it's hot in the summer and which is basically now uh, I don't like to turn the oven on that much so I use this oven and then get the job done just as good. So, and it keeps the house cooler. So right now, I have uh, four pieces of salmon, which is this salmon that I got from Costco, and it's in individual packs. And you know, it, it's kind of cool if you want it, if you want um, salmon, because you know, I'm gonna show you, a, show you one. Open it. Okay, they come in individual packs like this, and you know, you got you can just take out the one you want and use it when you want. And I think there's about at least 10 of them in here. I got four out. It looks like about six more in here. So it's like 10 that comes in this pack. And they're in the freezer. And it's good whenever you feel like you want to use that and you want to have something fast. So I have these these four uh, salmons. Socket eye salmon. Anyway, they're all here. I put in a few uh, pieces of dill, dill weed here. And I put a few pieces of some um, parsley here in my little Cuisinart here. I love this little thing. I put it in there. We're going to gonna set it off here. We're going to turn it on and we're going to grind it up. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And I will leave the recipe at the bottom. You will see that uh, during, you know, in the end. So you know exactly what, what I'm using. Okay, here we go. I'm going to grind it up. Open it up for a minute and right, push it all back in here. Uh. So, I put it on chop instead of grind. It needs to be on chop. So that's the parsley and the dill. And it's all here real nice. Now, I suppose um, one whole lemon. So this is the juice of one whole lemon. And I use one of these things to squeeze it. Very nice. And I'm going to pour the lemon juice in here. And I am pouring in, this is... Um, Four teaspoon, tablespoons of uh, butter. Pour that in there. And I'm going to put some garlic in here also. Put a, I like garlic, so I'm sticking some garlic in here. And you can put less garlic if you want. You can put more garlic if you want. You do your thing. I'm going to put it back on. Put it back in the chopper. Beautiful. Okay. Now let me take this off. Take that off right there for a minute. Okay. All right. So I season my um my salmon with some uh, garlic parsley, some onion powder, and some uh, black pepper and a little salt on the top. Everything's already has a little seasoning on it. And now all I'm going to do is put this stuff all on top of this. That's it. I'm going to cover it up. The 
It's a simple recipe, quick, easy, light dinner. You know, you guys want to just have something light in summer. You just don't want to turn on the, the stove and be on top of the stove trying to cook because it's a little too hot for all of that. So you just want to have something to eat. And it's really, really good. So I just put this stuff all over it. And, and believe me, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. I just finish it all off. I guess you, if you don't want to have this much on it, you don't have to, but it's goodness. So I say put it on there. All right, that's simple. It is just that simple. Now, I am taking the uh, foil paper here, and I'm going to make a little package out of this. Just tuck it in. And do it like that. Take this thing, same thing. Tuck it in. Make a little package out of it. That's all we want to do. And here's my pan that goes in my uh, toaster oven. I love that little toaster oven. It's very nice to have. Put my little toaster oven right here. Move you out the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to set my toaster oven. It's on bake. I'm going to press, it says 30 minutes. I think the, that's the lowest it goes. Yeah. Yeah, nope. I'm going to put this toaster oven on about 15 minutes. And I'll press start. And when it gets, when it comes up to uh, temperature, which I should have did this in the first place, but when it comes up to temperature, I'll put this, this uh, rack in. And we'll wait 15 minutes. You'll see what it looks like. But that's a good dinner. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, um, the uh, the uh, toaster oven, the toaster oven came up to speed, uh, came up to a heat, and I'm gonna put it in now. Okay, it took about maybe five minutes, really. This thing is so small, but it's really, you know, it really much faster than heating up the whole oven in the whole house. So I'm going to stick it in now. You guys can see that it's going in and it's going to be in now for 15 minutes. It's up to speed. Okay, we'll be back. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm back. It's been in the oven for like 20 minutes. And let's see what we got. All right. Okay, guys, if you could see this, but it looks magnificent. If you could see that. Okay, I'm going to take it out. Take one piece out and have a taste here. There you go. There's a piece. Looking all pretty right there. Okay. I'm going to taste this salmon. And I'm sure it is delicious. Because I eat it all the time. Let's try it. Mmm. 
Mm hmm. This is very good. It's time to eat. <laughs> so, guys, if you wanna, if you want a quick dinner, and you have some salmon, you need to get it fresh or frozen, whatever you, how you wanna do it, and you just put these ingredients together. I use fresh herbs, but you guys can use um, whatever you want. We can use dry; it doesn't matter. Put it all together. Put some butter in that sucker and suck and put it on there and I'm telling you, you guys will love it you guys will absolutely love it so until later guys have a good day and thank you again I'll be back soon bye bye